The Starfish Retrospective is a broad overview that estimates the overall success of a project. It's an action-orientated creative map that tries to influence participants to create positive, actionable ideas. As we can see, there are five questions that participants have to answer. In answering these questions, groups will discover what has been working well and what needs improvement. So to create a Starfish retrospective, simply type in the search templates bar here, Starfish, and there it is. So here is where we customize our templates. So you can change the name, the overall objectives that you wish to complete with your groups. You can actually change the design if you wish, change colors, change questions, um, and the overall processes involved in the map itself. You can go through as the facilitator and say, hey, I want only me to be able to add ideas to this map. So choose facilitator only there, or you can make it open to everyone. Same goes for the brainstorm style. Have a look at that, choose what you desire. We can go into grouping, um, make that facilitator only or for everyone to be able to group ideas. You can change the number of dot votes you wish to give participants. Edit the action phase and even the results phase. Now, if you want to turn anonymity on full, participants will be fully anonymous. They can make their answers privately by themselves. Currently it's off. There's also a dislike, a like and dislike function for all you Facebook lovers. And when you're done, you can head to the bottom and just click create. And there's our map. In order to actually invite participants to your map, uh, you'll want to head to the top right and click the invite tab in green. Here you can type in your participants email addresses or send them a map ID or regular link which you can copy and paste. Okay, now we've got two browsers open here side by side. Uh, let's say that this is the facilitator here and this is a participant. So just to show the real time aspect of group map, as the participant types in their answers, you can see the facilitator sees in real time what's being typed in. As participants are adding their thoughts, they can also actually click on these. They can add descriptions if they want to further elaborate and even images that relate to their idea. So as we move on to the grouping stage, here as a facilitator you can go through and say, okay, ideas one and two here are quite similar, let's group those together. If for whatever reason you think, whoops, shouldn't have done that, you can click on this little cross here and they go back to where they were. Now here in the voting stage, uh, this is where participants place their dot votes. So you'll remember earlier in the customization phase, we had the option as the facilitator to give participants a number of dot votes. This is where they place them. Now for the all important action phase. So in this phase, basically as the facilitator or even the participant, if you've allowed it, can go through ideas and they can add an action to any person. And you can actually choose the time you want this action to be completed by as well. So that's a really handy feature. Finally, the results tab. So here really teams can just sit back and have a look at, you know, all the decisions that have been made, actions to be taken, uh, votes. So which ideas were most popular. Yeah, it's just a good overview before we head on to the final reports stage. So here in reports, uh, basically, participants and facilitators can go ahead and export all of the results as a JPEG or PDF. You can also download the results, the map itself, as a JPEG image or a PDF image. The reports is a really good overview of each actual step that's been taken, so you can have a look at this once you're done. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to make a Starfish retrospective, and it's a really effective way to, to look at ideas differently, think outside of the box, use that right side of the brain and really get your teams thinking creatively and productively. If you liked this video, please don't forget to follow us in the links below or check out some of our other videos to help your teams think better together.